Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. Sorry. Um, this weekend I was going to record what I want for Christmas and what I want for my birthday, but the one thing I want the most, I cannot have. It's gone. And so, I wanted to come on here and share my feelings about how everything happened. So, on November 5th, my grandpa got admitted to the hospital. Um, my dad called around 8 o'clock in the morning and said, you guys need to find out what's going on with grandpa and all that. So I texted my great aunt and sure enough my grandpa was in the hospital because he had a heart attack. Um, they did a procedure on him to put a, to clear out a block in his valve. And they were like, we're hopeful he's going to make a full recovery as long as he takes his medicine, he'll be fine. Well. November 10th came around and they found out that he had cancer in two different spots. Um, one of the spots was in his lungs. It's not curable, it's terminal. And the second spot was in his hip, which I don't talk about this a lot. I had a friend that died. Um, from lung cancer and the final spot that that cancer spread to was her hip and it killed her. Sorry. So Thanksgiving comes around because I couldn't go visit him for a week because I was really sick. Thanksgiving came around and we found out the cancer was terminal. Um, we already knew he wasn't going to do chemo or anything like that. And the other thing that we learned was that he had liquid in his lungs. And they had already done one procedure. He had a DNR on him. Um, which if you don't know what a DNR is, it said do not resuscitate. Which means when the time came, sorry, they couldn't resuscitate my grandpa. Um, because that's not what he wanted. He didn't want to be in pain anymore. So, Thanksgiving, when we went to go visit him, my grandpa literally. was saying how much he wanted them to kill him. Which was here hard to hear because it's like you never want to hear that from your grandfather. I don't think he knew I was there, even though everyone's reassuring me that he knew I was there. But I never have heard my grandpa say that. <sighs> Sorry. So we stayed with my grandpa for a couple hours on Thanksgiving, um, before we headed home. I ended up having to leave his hospital room twice because I was so upset because it's like, this, you know, this is my grandpa, I love him and like, I don't want to see him hurt, I don't want to see him in pain, but at the end of the day it's not fair. Like, I don't understand how God could take such a good man who loved his family, who loved his friends, who loved life. He loved going fishing. He hated when I played with his hair, though. Don't understand that. Um, so, the next day, they were supposed to 
relieve some of the liquid out of his lungs so he could go home because he was going on hospice because we knew he had weeks some months to live. Um, the doctors came in and said, unfortunately, you guys, he has 24 hours to 48 hours to live. And we knew we were going to be extremely lucky if he lived to Monday. And he didn't. He died Sunday morning at 1 a.m. Um... I never would wish this kind of pain on anyone. Like, this is not fun. But, it's like, there's so much family drama right now that it's not even funny. I don't understand how my family can turn it on each other this fast after we lost somebody who was so important to us. So. I will see you guys in the next video, and yeah, bye guys.